What is going on guys? I know I have not made a video in about a week. I know I've not stuck to my schedule like I, I've been trying to, but unfortunately I had a buttload of work this week. So I apologize for no uploads. Um, like I said, it was just a lot of stuff to get done and a lot of traveling in between Virginia and West Virginia. So I didn't really have that much time or, um, yeah, I didn't really have that much time to make content. <clears throat> So that being said, it is Friday. I just finished my last class of the day. Um, this weekend, I'm gonna try to film more. I'm trying to get some content um, for y'all. Uh, maybe a little off-roading, I don't know. It's a little too cold right now, so everything's super icy. Um, and ice on the slick rocks already is not a good idea for this escape. Um, so that being said, we're probably not gonna do a lot of that, but if it warms up and we get a nice day, I'm definitely planning on um, going ahead and going off-roading for a little bit. Uh, what else? What else happened this week? So, last weekend, I had to go home uh, and kind of just pick up all my, my stuff from my room and pack it up. Um, my parents are now moving out to Colorado and in order for me to keep my stuff here on the East Coast, um, I had to go get a lot of it and bring it up here to West Virginia with me. So with that, I didn't really have that much time to um, go to car events or really do anything cool with the Escape. Um, so that that the weekend just kind of drifted away from me. I was doing a lot of stuff. So I got home probably like Sunday around like nine o'clock at night and the day's over there's no more time for filming <laughs> i was like crap whatever so on monday i had um my mom actually bring up some stuff for me from the house that i couldn't just take in the escape so when that happened that was another full day practically gone with classes and with her um so i had didn't have anything to do that day um tuesday I really wasn't feeling too hot and I had a big, kind of a big paper assignment due on Friday um, that the professor ended up telling us saying, yeah, it's not unusual to spend a full 24 hours on this paper. So I was like, crap, I need to start on it and get ahead of the game. So I started on Tuesday. That took a lot of my time on Tuesday. Um, and really it took all week to do this. I, I was still doing it this morning and Friday morning. Um, and I just, I finished it right at noon, so it, it took me a very long time and that was a lot of work. Um, I also had exams this week. This was the first week of exams. Um, so I, I had to be studying for that and not really fooling around with the escape and filming that much. So, um, school just kind of really came first this week and I, I really needed to get a lot of stuff done. And luckily it's Friday. I have all my stuff done. My weekend is clear. I'm really thinking this should be perfect. Um, I have plenty of time to do everything, everything that I could want to do. Um, now the only issue is money, that's all. Um, gas money, which really sucks. I think it's like 260 something around here. It's not as bad as other places I've seen. I've seen in Maryland where it's like three bucks for some 87, which really sucks. Um, so that, that's really ridiculous. Um, but I'm trying to save up some money. I also got Valentine's Day coming up. My girlfriend is coming up from uh, Bridgewater, Virginia. So I also got to save up some money for that. I've gotten most of her presents already. It's more of just saving up for dinner, movie, you, you know the stuff. So that that's got to be uh, that's got to be done here. In, what next weekend? I think she's coming up. Um, so that being said, that's a little bit where my money's going right now. Um, no mods for the escape as of right now. I might order some stuff in a little bit. Um, gas cans. I'm thinking are probably gonna be a number one priority. I really, really, really want some gas cans for the roof rack. Um, I need to order a better lock for my high jack or high lift jack. Um, that's kind of been a pain too. The, the if if it's wet and everything like that, and it gets below freezing, the lock will actually freeze solid. <laughs> And I've had to break it open, kind of, um, in order to move that off the jack, or move that off the rack. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting a, a better locking system for that, a, uh, some gas cans. I want to get, um, I kind of saw something kind of cool. It's like a, uh, 
a pressurized water container or something like that you can attach to your roof or basket and um, you just plug up your garden hose or something like that and it by doing that it pressurizes itself so you just pump all the water in there you unscrew it you, I guess bolt it back in I don't really know how you do it but then you can attach a garden hose to it and it'll spray so that looks pretty cool I was like eh, that, that's definitely something I need to look into um, but yeah other than that there's not too much plan I'm actually driving past my dorms that I had in my freshman year that way and uh, gas station I've got a few repairs on the escape for too really sucks <sighs> I'm just hoping nothing breaks on this car anymore like it's it's getting bad I, I have put in a lot of money over um, Christmas break to get this thing fixed a lot of money was put into this car over Christmas break, and it's, it's starting to get ridiculous, and unfortunately, if anything else big happens, I'm, I'm really, I'm starting to get to that point where it's like, I, it might go, like, I might be trading up, who knows, um, I love this thing to death, I want to keep it, but that is only if, um, something else really big goes wrong, uh, right now I'm at, let's see, 95,000 miles. Wow. I got this car at like 64. So 95,000 miles on it. Um, nothing really should be breaking right now. Hopefully I've already replaced wheel bearings. I've replaced tie rods. I've replaced the steering rack. Um, the rack, the rack and pinion, the alternator probably four or five times now, which is ridiculous. Um, yeah. Thanks Ward. So stuff just needs to work for a little bit in order for me to keep this car um like i said my budget for my my mustang gt that i'm, I'm future for the future is kind of coming together okay i'm hoping that didn't change the view so much uh, the suction cup actually just dropped straight to the floor which uh, didn't intend to happen so um, i had to put that back up luckily i was a light where it's not really affecting my trip um man, excuse me oh i think i'm gonna give me some arby's yep arby's time um i haven't eaten all day so i'm starving so i'm gonna get that and then head back to the apartment um chill for a little bit i might go out try to do another video for this weekend um, try to, I'm trying to get as much filming done as possible so when the time comes like say when I have a really busy week or whatever I can just put out videos that I already have edited and ready to go so I'm trying to stay on top of that I'm trying to actually get ahead of the game when it comes to videos so I, hopefully this weekend I'll have a lot of time to film a lot of things 